What's up boys, we're pushing top ladder with the number one Lava Loon deck in the game. If you don't believe me, we got an 85% win rate with this deck right now, which is crazy. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. We're just going to be playing some, hopefully some good games, getting some good dubs. He is... Oh my god. What is he doing? This first play is insane, but I mean, we wrap it up pretty easily with the Phoenix and the Tombstone. Flawless defense, and we're going to get a nice little... Okay, nope, we're not going to get a nice little chip damage there, but we are just going to go in with the drags here for this uh, Skelly King. Uh, it's not a big deal, and actually we're going to get a nice sap here, which is going to help my Skeleton Dragons get some good damage on the tower. Let's go. Uh, we should be taking a nice early lead here. We got that one lucky Skelly Drag hit as well, so we're going to take him down to 3100. Looking pretty good right now. Um, he is playing, I believe, Mortar Bait. Um, we're going to go Balloon here and then just Fireball his Dark Goblin, I believe. He's, okay, he's going to go Mortar. That's interesting, for sure. I'm probably going to leave it now. We're going to go uh, Tombstone on this Cannon Cart now, which is actually good um, because the Mortar is dead, so it can't kill our Tombstone. So that's actually nice. And we're going to fully wrap up this Cannon Cart. And now we're going to think about... Do we kill this thing? Oh, man. Man, you got to be kidding me. At least he's uh, only going to get one shot on our tower. One... Yep, one shot on our tower. That's good. Uh, we're just going to wrap this uh, barrel up with the Skeleton Dragons. Uh, not too shabby early on. Only 30 seconds till Double Elixir. And I'm actually going to do this Lava Hound play because I don't think he's going to have a good response to this. He might have Fireball, but still, I don't know if that's what he wants to play right now. Because then we could just fully wrap up his King. And he's going to... He goes with a Goblin gang that's very interesting we're just going to completely wrap it up here he is going to get an ability off so we're going to have to tombstone to make sure we are flawlessly defending his skeleton king and now actually you know what we're going to do i'm going to fireball this i'm going to fireball this because this is oh this is some nice damage right here boys and the skeletons are going to get some good damage yeah we're going to take him down to 1200 hp that's actually clutch dude very good that we uh use the fireball on that because now i don't have to uh risk dealing with a counter push using that dark goblin either that's another thing you guys got to take into consideration if you want to fireball something and you decide not to um just think about whether you want to whether you have to spend extra elixir on it for the counter push so we're going to go lava in front here for this mortar chipping away at this mortar he's going to go all in on the opposite lane dude chill out chill out chill out okay 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 we're fine we're fine we're fine uh, we're dealing with the cart. The Barbarian's are actually very good there. We're going to go Balloon instead of Skelly Drags here because this Dark Goblin isn't really something I need to worry about right now. Uh, we're going to go Zap on this Barrel, and then we're just going to go um, go with the Lava Hound again, I think. No, we're not going to go. We're going to Fireball. No, did I miss that? I missed it, dude. No. No, bro. Are you serious right now? Oh, my God. Okay. I was going to go with the Lava Hound, but then I decided to just try and Fireball that. And that's kind of why it slipped, because I was, like, slipping between cards. But, like, okay, the Fireball's out, so we just stuffed it at the bridge and then go Tombstone. And I think we need a uh, Zap and uh, two, uh, two Zaps and a Fireball, I think. I think um, we're going to go... Yeah, I think, you know, we might just have to get two Fireballs down, because, yeah... I have to make sure that I'm not uh, giving him any room to come back. The main reason I didn't go Lava earlier there was because I was feeling like if I went Lava, he could have punished me with, like, Cannon Cart Gang or, like, Skelly King Skarmy like he's doing here. So this was uh, this was actually really good for us because now we could just wrap all this up and then uh, we'll just zap the barrel at the very end and just fireball it again. So, yeah, two fireballs. Um, we had a big damage lead, but I wanted to make sure that I was playing really good defense the whole time and we weren't giving up, uh, giving our opponent any chance for a comeback. All right, game number two, we've got Ron coming in here. Now, uh, I'm kind of thinking we're just going to sit here, maybe go Tombstone first play. It really depends. Oh my God. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> that's great too, I guess. He's going to go Inferno in the back. You know, this is, this is, oh God. Inferno and Fireball, dude, you gotta be kidding me. You just gotta be kidding me, dude. Okay, so this is gonna be one of these matches. Uh, oof, I kinda messed that up a little bit. This is, it's actually gonna be fine in just a second, uh, but I messed up the timing. I placed it a little early. The tombstone there is just gonna uh, fully wrap up the Inferno Dragon, so I don't have to spend any air, extra air cards or anything uh, to wrap up that Inferno. And we're gonna get some good value against his ground cards, aka the uh, the skeleton giant. Wait, what is that? Yeah, giant skeleton. Okay, I almost got confused there. But we're going to go lava here because I don't believe he's back to his inferno. He played the skelly, giant skelly, and then the arrow. Wait, wait, what? He's back? No, that's... Wait, 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 wait. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why, because he went fireball. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought he only played three cards. Um, but that would have been a really good play if he'd only gone with three cards. I forgot he went Inferno and then Fireball, so he was already back to Inferno. Yeah, that was a bad play on my part, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, I, well, I don't have my Fireball, so I don't want to... I kind of forgot what his cycle was looking like. If he had Zappies in uh, hand, I was going to go uh, Balloon and then Fireball, but then I realized I didn't have my Fireball, so hopefully... Oh, dude, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We're actually just going to fireball these zappies here. And I'm going to try and say, yeah, we're not going to save the tower. Okay, that sucks. Uh, yeah, that's a bad play. I was going to try and go balloon to make him uh, go zappies before he went graveyard. Uh, so we could get good value uh, and f just eliminate his Valkyrie counter push. But it didn't work because I played it a little too late. Uh, so now we're going to have to make a little bit of a comeback. So that's a little annoying. But we we've definitely got it. I've definitely got it. Um, the main key here is to make him spend a lot of elixir on defense so that I can just uh, wrap up this giant skeleton in peace. We're going to go barbarians on this giant skeleton and it is going to wrap up the giant skeleton. We're just going to go zap on this inferno and then fireballing all the zappies here. And hopefully we should be able to get it. Oh, we don't get a hit. Uh, we don't get death bomb either it looks like that's too bad But we are gonna go skeleton dragons because I know he's low on elixir And then after that we're gonna go with the balloon immediately as soon as I get five elixir boom We're gonna go with the balloon and if he goes inferno dragon I do have the zap ready though. We do have to cycle so I'm using the tombstone on the valkyrie real quick Zap coming in and we are going to get it very nice very nice very nice indeed. I like that I like that that's some good plays right there um, so now we're gonna be in a pretty even situation it's going to be very important that i uh am making sure i don't overcommit to my lava pushes because if i overcommit then he's um going to be able to punish me pretty heavily and we just have to be in an elixir advantage when he goes graveyard so we uh, oh that's a weird valk it actually is going to work out well for him um but we are still going to wrap up this giant skeleton and the king tower is helping out on our um on our his graveyard so that's actually very clutch and now we can just go ahead and drop a lava on the back so as you can see, we are going lava after we dealt with his push, and we are making sure when dealing with his graveyard push, we have enough elixir to make sure that we we don't just place we'll only have enough elixir for the barbs and then just get fireballed and it's GGs. So we're gonna go Phoenix here to try and take out this uh, this um, tombstone, and then barbs here are gonna be nice because he doesn't have enough elixir to fireball. Plus, he has a balloon on his tower that he needs to deal with. So we forced him. Um, also, nice Scully drags in the pocket there. We're going to get some big hits. Oh, we almost got another one. But yeah, we were going to uh, force him to spend Elixir on defense so we couldn't back up his giant skeleton graveyard. That way, we defended it with only the Barbarian. So that's pretty clutch right there. And then we're going to drop uh, the Barbarians over here in case he was like prediction fireballing or something. And also... The goal is to make the giant skeleton walk as far as we can. Um, so that's why I kind of put them over there because it buys us a little bit of extra time. So here um, it looks like we're going to go probably Phoenix, try and wrap up this Valkyrie and then Zap. I want to get rid of this Inferno as soon as possible. He can't actually back up that graveyard. So we're going to get a second Lava Hound down. And now we're going to take out this Inferno, I believe. And we are going to take it out. We are going to fireball on the zappies and we also hit the inferno dragon i don't think it matters much but we just have to keep up the pressure we are up by 400 damage right now and he has no way to get the damage back boys because he just used both his spells so the whole moral of the, this matchup um is making sure we can apply offensive pressure so that he can't get his damage because if you let him build up a huge push then you are going to get steamrolled so let's keep this momentum going on to the next game all right boys we got hirateshi i don't know if i pronounced that right but it is going to be really hard to top the last game bro i played really good in my opinion and i'm really happy we won that game um, because it's always super struggle for me to deal with graveyards, so I'm happy we, we got that dub right there. Um, hoping we could back it up with another one. That doesn't look very good, uh, very promising though, because it does look like E-Giant. So we're going to go Balloon here. I'm just going to go Skelly Drakes to pop this out of the lane, or out of the Tornado range. And th this basically, all this does for us is really just, uh, that dies the bomb? Oh no, it doesn't, he's coming back. Oh no, he's coming back. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go barbs over here. 
Uh, the Golden Knight does not dash. That's a really interesting. I played them off center so that he would dash into them, but he didn't dash into them. So that was kind of just a, a weird little interaction there, in my opinion. But we're not going to take much damage. Um, we do take two bomber hits, so that's kind of a lot. I take it back, two bomber hits. But I think we can work with this. Um, it was a pretty bad starting hand as far as E-Giant goes. Um, I usually just want to respond with Skelly Drags or, or Phoenix in the back for his Golden Knight. But see, like here again, we have absolutely nothing to play. Like I can just fireball this, I guess. Yeah, we, we kind of just have to go fireball and then tombstone up here because... Yeah, there's not really anything we have for his Golden Knight. So hopefully we can go... Um, that's not going to work very well. Um, we're going to go drags back here, and then we're going to go barbs on top, just because that's the only real play we have here. We cannot lose this tower, so we, you can't just sack versus E-Giant. You've got to keep your tower alive in, in like any E-Giant matchup. Unless you're facing a complete trash can, you have to, um, you have to just... Be careful and so here we're only down 900 but i mean still going same lane as an e-giant player is really dangerous i'm gonna see what we can do though here it's gonna be tough but uh i'm up for the challenge so he's gonna be back to e-giant in one more card i believe um so it's not okay he's already back i didn't know he was already back that's oh yep yeah, and he pushed it yeah my fault guys i wasn't really expecting that but he did do that so that was too bad we're gonna go phoenix up here i'm just trying to break through here He's just going to go ahead and lightning, and instantly, I believe we're just done. Um, I mean, he could... Oh, he missed it. Actually, the Phoenix knockback missed him out. Oh, my God. I'm stuttering, but the Phoenix knockback made his tornado miss. So that's actually really big. We're going to go lava here, try and capitalize on this. I imagine he's going to go for the three crown now because our king tower is kind of low. That's going to be kind of awkward because I don't know how to defend an E-Giant if he goes for the king tower. Um, but let's see what we got coming in. I'm going to go with the fireball just up here to get this cannon out of here. And then we're going to go with the... Um, we're going to go with the with the with just the... The Phoenix. We're gonna go with the Phoenix and the Drags, and we're gonna do some big damage because the Phoenix is gonna block the NATO for the King Tower. So that's actually really good for us. And now we're up, I believe, a thousand damage. So this is gonna be tricky here to deal with for sure because we're kind of in an awkward situation where this Phoenix is just getting a ton of value. But hopefully we can get a nice fireball here and then just wrap it up. And then we're gonna go Tombstone right here as well. And we actually do kill the Phoenix, so that's huge. All right, this is big, this is big, this is big. No hits, we get one hit. Okay, I'll take one hit. I'll take this this Golden Knight here because we can get a Lava down and we're even now. So that makes up, he got his damage back, but now we're going to be in a good spot um, or at least a winnable spot here. As soon as I fireball this cannon coming in here, um, Oh, he missed. He missed the cannon. He missed the cannon, and now he can't nato it to cannon. This is huge. This is huge. Dude, the tornado didn't stop it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Three clutch wins this game, bro. I mean, this video, dude. This is this is so dope. Let's go, boys. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking for one more really good one to top off the video. Um, we might do two. We might do one. I don't know how. It depends how I'm feeling. Uh, we got some really good games so far today, so that's really good. If you're enjoying the video, please hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you're enjoying this video, drop, drop a bing chilling down in the comments, baby. All right, so let's see what we've got coming in here. Um, we got the Phoenix again, so that means it could be E-Giant. I'm not really... Um, I'm, I'm not very faithful in my ability to defend back-to-back E-Giants. -back e Actually, what we're going to do here is Barbarians on this, and it looks like it's going to be Golem Pump just because the Lumberjack and the Phoenix. Okay, yeah, it looks like Go Golem Pump. So he could go with the Dark Prince in front of this maybe, and f for that we would just uh, go with the Tombstone. But if he doesn't, oh, he has the E-Barbs version. Okay, interesting. So we're going to go Phoenix over here um, to wrap up this E-Dragon. He's, he's going to tornado it. So what we're going to do is actually just go ahead and Lava, I think. Um, we're actually going to, oh, I thought the egg would come back. That would have been absolutely huge if we could get the egg to come back. Sadly, that's not going to happen, though. We're going to have to use the drags in case he goes with the Lumberjack opposite lane. He's going to go pump in the back, so that's really interesting. Uh, he is, he played E-Dragon, e then NATO, then pump. So he needs two more cards to get back to his E-Dragon. So theoretically, going Balloon here to, uh, in the anti-NATO spot is going to be very helpful for us. 
um, because he doesn't have a way to deal with it. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna go drags here too. Oh no, he played he played something else too. He played e bar. Wait, what did he play? I don't know, man. I mistracked his cycle a little bit, but still, the gist of it was he's not back to E-Dragon, so we're going to get a ton of damage from our balloon here. And we might even take out this E-Dragon if we're lucky. We are not lucky. We almost got that last shot off, but we should just be able to go um, Tombstone if he was to put anything else in front of it. He's not going to. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like the Phoenix like here, and then we're going to go Lava Hound up top here. Um, the goal is to distract his units long enough for me to be able to defend them. And so we're going to go Tombstone as well down here. Um, we're actually going to get a nice Fireball value up on this E-Dragon here. And we are going to do, deal some good tower damage as well. So now we only need a Fireball and a Zap to wrap it up. And so this is actually really good here. Because we killed the E-Dragon, that is absolutely huge. We killed the E-Dragon. Okay, we're going to go Phoenix. We need to get a Lava down in front of this or all my troops are going to die. So I am going to go... Ooh, can we keep this alive? Yeah, we can. We can. We're going to get another Phoenix back. We're going to drop a Tombstone over here. And as you can see, boys, we're going to get really... Yeah, he knows it. He knows it, boys. He knows it. It's over, boys. Let's go, dude. That was really good because we were able to um, really successfully defend this guy um, because he doesn't have a big spell so as long as we can keep our air troops alive we're gonna get tons of value out of them let's go boys that was such a good dub right there and i'm feeling one more i'm feeling one more okay i'm i'm, I'm feeling it let's go get one more big dub all right we've got one last game coming in here versus parsa mega hit i think that's what that says um i don't really know what that means but anyways this is gonna be good for us um bruh chill okay i'm gonna go phoenix here uh I don't know why I said this is going to be good for us, because it, it's not. This is a horrible starting hand, and I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay for this starting hand, because my tombstone was nowhere in sight. We're going to have to get a weird zap off just to cycle to my tombstone here, but hopefully we can manage to defend this guy, um, because this is a very bad starting situation for us here. Now, we are going to have to go Barbarians as well here, just to wrap up this Night Witch. And then hopefully we can also wrap up these Gullamites before the Phoenix wreaks havoc on our tower. Um, come on, Barbs, I'm trusting in you. Okay, we're going to need to go Phoenix as well here, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, the Phoenix is not going to come back, but we take a bunch of Lumberjack damage. So that's just, that's just a bad start to the game. That's just a bad start. Um, there's not much you can do about that. But we are going to go Balloon here, actually, um, just to try and capitalize, try and get this Phoenix Egg back. And he is going to go opposite lane there. Um, I guess that's a good play from him. We're basically going to tower trade, and then he's going to have way more damage. That actually, that actually is a, a really good play by him. So that's annoying for sure. But uh, in hindsight, I didn't really see that coming. I didn't see it coming. But we are going to get some Skelly Drag damage here, so that's nice. Um, actually, we're not going to get as much as I hoped because the King Tower was helping him out. So that's unfortunate, but um, I am going to go just with the Tombstone here. Um, I'm going to try and wrap up this Golem uh, because I would go Lava in the back to try and t uh, tower trade with him, but it's not going to work if we don't have our uh, Balloon. So since we don't have our Balloon, it's not worth it, and we're just going to try and zap here. I'm actually going to try and take out this Night Witch really high up so sh he doesn't get any value on a counter push. And he's actually going to have to respond to this Phoenix too, which is kind of nice. The Phoenix is going to get value on the Lumberjack, actually. That's kind of clean. Let's see. Let's go Lava Hound. Um, we're going to take most of this out. We're going to go with just the Tombstone, I think, to wrap most of this up. Um, we're going to go... Huh. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to go Balloon. And then I think we can just go Barbs here. We might be able to... Might be able to three crown race him. Let's see. I'm gonna go like that. Boom. We get one. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Dude! Mm, my God! That's gonna be the video. That's gonna be the video. What? What? Dude! There is no way. There is no way, dude. Oh my God! It worked. It worked. It worked. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Dude. Dude. I'll see you guys in the next video.